Hey everybody, it's Greg. We're not dead. Nobody on the team is dead. We've just been really busy, so we haven't made any videos. Today I figured I'd make a tutorial here for you on how to make a muzzle flare on with just Windows Movie Maker Light Artist, which is free. I'll, tell, I'll give you the download link in the description, and Microsoft Paint. This is in lieu of our new production film that we're working on currently so I figured I'd just pop out a quick video let you guys let you guys know that we're still around so to start off with you obviously have your um, your original clip right here I'm just gonna drag that onto the timeline if you don't want to do that then you can just leave the video and give up your filmmaking career um, here I'll just play the original clip for you real quick now, just as a quick pointer, as uh, some quick pointers, notice that I don't have ridiculous amounts of recoil. Also notice that the barrel does not fly up vertically into the air like some people will show you. Um, that's un completely unrealistic and no matter how realistic your muzzle flare is, that will, be th um, that will throw off everything. So the next step is to, oh well first off here let me say this go into tools this is for both the new and old Microsoft Windows Movie Maker I'm gonna go into options go into the advanced tab even though this isn't very advanced and you're gonna make the picture duration as low as it can possibly be I think it's still uh, 125 for the original Movie Maker but if not then just get it as low as possible so once you've done that we're gonna we're gonna pan through all the frames right here and try to figure out when exactly I pull the trigger on this video. Looks like I got some trigger movement right there, and I got a little recoil. We're gonna split the clip here, and for those who have the old Microsoft Movie Maker, um, you can just click the uh, take a picture button or whatever it's called down here but for those of you who have the new version we're going to go to tools again and click take picture from preview you can save that it'll upload it into here but you don't have to worry about that right now now we're going to go into Microsoft Paint and actually create the actual muzzle flare we're going to open that same still image we just took wherever that may be here it is and then we're going to zoom in on where we want the muzzle flare. We want your first primary color to be orange, and then your secondary color is already white. We're going to use a scapular tool right here. And for those of you who are just on regular uh, mic the old Microsoft Paint, then you can just do the same thing I'm doing, just with different tools. And you're going to right click to fill this in with white. Since most muzzle flares and like different other types of explosion fires most of them are white inside it's the white heat so making them orange and red is a dead giveaway that you have no idea what you're doing so we're just gonna fill this in here don't really worry about too much about the shape because we're gonna cover it up with light artists later which is completely free as I said before let's switch this up a little bit so we have a different angle and bring that out maybe bring these down a little bit alrighty you may think it looks completely ridiculous right now but don't worry let's use the paintbrush for our some orange along the edges not too much though and there's your picture doesn't look very good that's okay we're just gonna save it anyway now take note that I haven't done this in forever so these aren't my best muzzle flares then we're going to go into light arts which is extremely easy to use and we're going to go find that picture and here's where it really looks like begins to look like an actual flare we're going to go down to light sources and hit add and we're going to drag the first light source over the muzzle flare now right here you have two uh, scroll bars 
The first one is altitude, which increases the size of the circle, as you can see I'm doing right now. We're going to keep that right there. And then the second one is intensity, which is self-explanatory. Let's try to increase that just to cover up the edges right there. Now keep in mind that this muzzle flare is only going to be on there for a fraction of a second, so you don't really have to worry about the specifics as much. And then my suggestion is, just like you would do in After Effects, add some light sources here and there as to where the light would also be, such as my face. I'm going to go down here to the bottom left and click Process, and then your final image will be right here. doesn't look too bad, so I'm going to save it. I usually overwrite the original. Oops, what am I doing? Okay. You're just going to click this uh, clipboard right here, or the floppy disk, whatever. Then we're going to go back into Movie Maker. And somewhere in here, you should have your original image. There you go. Now we're going to drag that image into the slot that we just made with the split. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to Effects speed up double. This will bring it down to 0.625 seconds for the um, muzzle flare. But now since we've made that clip and we added an extra frame, we'll have a frame right here where we um, are just staying still. So we want to eliminate that that dual clip by splitting it two frames or one frame preferably, but Movie Maker has a dumb two decimal thing so we have some jumps in time. I'm going to delete that. So we should have a smooth ish transition. Which we do, thankfully. Sometimes it makes it jump around. And there's your final product. Now you can just add in sound. My note for sound is that it's probably more important than the muzzle flash, considering that in real life, muzzle flashes aren't consistent with the shooting because the cameras don't pick up every single flash there is. So sound design is crucial to any uh, film production. So um, if you're going to use a sound, make sure that it's high quality. Um, that matches with your camera quality pretty much. And then you can go to different websites to get the HD output that I'm going to, yeah sure show right here. It gives you extra options down here. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions just put them in the comments. We use these videos or we use this method on most of our old videos. Actually all of our old videos right now we're just we're moving into After Effects. But the, the great thing about this is it can still look professional because you can put the muzzle flares at any, any angle or at any space you need. If you're good at drawing in three dimensions. But pretty much with Light Artist, um, it covers up any uh, mess ups with the muzzle flare. So I definitely recommend this and if you guys want, post in the video responses your own designs. Thank you.